Good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. And this morning, we definitely have the KLCI Smart Roby with us. And for those of you who don't know, we have finally broken through the 1500 convincingly. Now, if you are a member of or user of the Smart Roby, you would have known that too. But if you are new in this channel in here, I'd like to welcome you too and check out our Smart Roby apps. As you can see, on the chart that I have for you. Let's put it up on top of me here. You could see the KLCI switching to a one month chart to a wider chart. You could see on the left hand side. Ever since we broke through the 1500, it is been a very convincing. How many days? One, two, three, four, five. Five bars in a row up since then. Of course, this is no surprise if you understand what is the technology and algorithm behind the Pentagon Guider, which will guide you into. And if you have any stocks that you want me to look at this morning, feel free to pencil in there and I will go on with our daily breakfast show with Smart Robbie this morning. All right. In this morning, we are in the midst of our, you know, 2024 rally, you know, we uh, tested the old high and we broke it into here. And that seemed to be very, very significant. It's been an uptrend for the last uh, 16 days for the FKLI, 16 bars actually, 16 trading bars. But for the KLCI, it's just been four bars in here. So that show you the trend that is going up. And I do hope that some of you would have gotten some shares and started to make good progress. And of course, for our member, do check out our uh, tonight, our live training that we are doing at 9.30 and there will be some sharing of the stock trade idea that did pretty well in the past, although we did have uh, a hiccup in there. But I do think that going forward, we are able to recover from where we have now. Now let's look at the uh, Smart Roby driven, powered by Pentagon Guider in here and following the technology of volume spread. Now, now one of the things that we really want to show you is the KLCI Pentagon Champion in here and where they are. You can see uh, as of the January 12th, uh, Pentagon Wiener, we have uh, Edaran which is up 52%, APM up 21%, Ibraco up 19% and Unza up 17% in here. Whereas the smaller one, there are, will be some uh, Pentagon rate losses. That's why it's important to cut them out and let the big profit runs. Now, if you look from here, this is a very interesting one, which is the API. How you were able to see the green Pentagon in. You can notice there wasn't really much value. Huge volume came in and push up the shares. Of course, you see we get some sort of uh, uh, profit taking in here. And then the market will start to move up, move up, and you can see there were no violation of the ATR stop here that you see. This is the ATR stop loss, and you continue to run this up. So APL, it's up 21% since the green Pentagon in here. Now, of course, our VSA36, which is the uh, so-called parent of the Smart Roby in here, has the insider buying and selling. Check it out. Now, this morning, you can see the KLCI. As such, we have moved from what we call a stage one reaccumulation and breaking up into the mid stage two. The mid stage two, usually it's a very strong upward trend in here. We are seeing the continuing trajectory of the Chinese New Year rally. So we already have four out five day, which is foreign funds inflow, which is very, very positive. Railway track is still on the upwards January and February, and we still think this will likely to continue uh, the Chinese New Year rally. Many of you may not want, but as the market go up, do watch out for the sign of uh, what we call sign of weakness. Okay, so you can see from here uh, above me, comparison to the uh, on the left hand side of the chart is the KLCI. The right hand side is the futures. It's breaking up the 1500 for the third time. You can see took out the two up trust, which is actually the sign of weakness, which actually tells you that the market couldn't go. But with that, that is quite a convincing uh, push upwards. And that's why we have what we have today. Uh, bear in mind, if you check out the last Wednesday talk that we did, the KLCI is also one of the best performers so far because last year uh, it hasn't done very well. And so far it has done much better right now. Now, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, do pencil those in there. Happy day. The railway track is still going up. So that's a very good one. And that's why it's good to have the green Pentagon on the back of you and able to track it in here. As the market goes up, you want to watch out for the sign of weakness as many bars has already turned green Pentagon going up. Now, of course, one of the things that uh, many of 
you might want to write is the what we call the stage two shares. The stage two shares are the continuation or uptrend. And so it's right at the the menu setting in here. But I want to share with you what has happened. So if you look from here on the 15th of January, two weeks ago when we did this episode, TSH. So let's take a look at it and how far the market has gone up. Uh, at that time it was 28 and a half. Uh, this no, this is THS resources okay THS resources I think uh, oh, that's kind of interesting to see uh, where it is the yeah THS resources why okay so let's let's take a look at it now so you can see the market continue to push uptrend uh, since it has been in the nice strong upward movement here okay you can see going back to the last six months uh, the, the market is you know sort of been ranging side bound but you do have a, a strength coming in now for the THS okay let's look at delirium all right delirium and uh, let's look at that one so delirium is 102 now it's 110 so that's pretty good so it's gone up fairly from the last week you can see that push upwards very nicely done and on the 15 which was here the market started to move up i think somewhere in the range of eight uh, percent stage two shares uh, check it out and then we have ytl power which continue to powering ahead all right powering ahead last week was uh, 368 or uh, not on the 15th of january you could see the price there and right now it's 389 that's a pretty good move also 20 cents you can see a nice uptrend from where we are which is i think 15 of january was here started to move up so a lot of the stage two shares as the klci continue to make upwards movement a lot of the stage two share does make sense and of course you can always always kind of choose it uh, which one that you like and ensuring that they have the fundamental by checking out the smart roby ratings too so for this week and for this today we have a bj cop so you can check out the chart here or you can check it out every day you know don't need to really lock in here wct mrcb mrcb is being upwards in a nice one and even carex uh, I think make a good move after all the rubber glove has been strong. So check out the hot sectors every day. So that's where uh, we will see a lot of this. So BJ Corp, you can see started to move up and who knows, it might actually turn higher from here onwards. All right, so those are your stage two shares. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our daily newsletter. If you have not, where uh, myself and my team will review through some of the particular news that we have and see how it impacts the Pentagon Guider. Now, on the Smart Roby for our beginner, okay, our beginner, uh, we recommend you to look at into the January uh, 15, which is uh, 15 of January, which we look at the FA Roby stock, which is more fundamentally inclined. And you can see Henneken has a dividend of 5.7%, Uchi Tech has a 7.9%. Now, last week we had the uh, Henneken, you can see at $24, still holding up, did try to go higher, but a bit of profit taking holding around the above the 2375 in here and we also have uchi tank just turning green pentagon and since then you could see let's go back you can see uh 375 now it's 382 nicely done and you still collect those nice dividend all right so if you're a beginner these are kind of share you want to go in and in so this week we are looking into the 29th of january we have uh, ci holdings all right let's check out ci holdings you can see right at the bottom there and CI Holdings. What kind of dividend do they uh, give out? I think we should hit one more time. Okay. Uh, now we've seen the chart. We want to look at the stock fundamentals. Okay. The stock fundamental is giving it a 5%. Uh, not too bad. Huh? It's a consumer stocks. They are into palm oil and they make a lot of what we call sanitary where you know, all the pipes the tap water the tap that you use in the bathroom sanitary where check out this uh, interesting uh, uh, so-called company in here oh they have another sukumaran as well dato sukumaran hi sukumaran you were listening there's a dato there is that you <laughs> okay uh, that's our first one very nice space in here we are seeing the uh, first move of the green pentagon now next one we have is fbi which is the uh, famous formosa 
they make a lot of speakers in here you can check it out also on the smart roby apps here hit it that way and hit the stock fundamentals i'm so used to hitting the uh, so you can see from chart wise just nicely done in here you can see this is a taiwanese company and uh, they do pay great dividends, 7%. And remember, Uchi Tech is also a Taiwanese company. So most of these Taiwanese companies are uh, deep, uh, lowly value in here. And if you check out FP Group, hit on the website. It takes you to the thing. I think first thing you'll see probably is a speaker. Yeah, that's right. You can see all these speakers, 30-year manufacturing. They used to do a lot of, uh, now they do a lot of maybe, oh, they got also fine woodwork. I didn't know about the fine woodwork. Oh, they also make piano, is it? Wow, okay, interesting. They have sort of switched their product model in here. And mainly some of these are for overseas, but they're just doing it in in the, uh, I think, I believe their factory is in Clank. Yeah, transducer, plastic molding, engine designing work, and so forth. Yeah, there's in Clank. Okay, Taiwanese Industrial Park. All right, so that's for FBI with a 7%, uh, is it 7% dividend? Yes. Okay, yep, it's a 7.12% dividend, giving it a good leg right a five out eight rating all right of course our unique proposition has been always been smart roby uh like what we say in here using that but i think one of the key things is using the green pentagon and the red pentagon to time your exit and of course you can put it also in your smart roby apps to notify some of those stocks that you are looking for that green pentagon coming in so set up the alert like what we see in here respectively with your watch list uh, if you think that uh, some of you are trading the U.S. stock, set it up too, and you will be alert first thing in the morning or at night. Okay, those are the things. Select the stocks. When you get a green pentagon, it's up, and it's red pentagon, it's down. So watch out for that one too, especially those of you who are taking profit, and you can set it up in your uh, Android app alert. So don't forget to join me again uh, next week. We will be doing the Smart Roby US market, a good flow, especially we do recommend many of our members and you your first time here to diversify to the US and as well to the um, KLCI stock. So that way you can prevent. And of course, we are very proud of our member, uh, the Trade VSA premium membership in here uh, in our CV2 supervised coaching and mentoring that we have done. You could see uh, we have the sharing of the weekly idea which we are doing tonight at 9.30. So if not a member, you might want to consider becoming a member in here and you can see uh, many of them over the last four to five months has done pretty well and the score has even gone up and uh, you can see with the uh, started off with 50,000 many of them around 59,000 and uh, 4,000 in here I think the whole point of the uh, thing is the supervise what we try to do on a weekly basis as well as our monthly orientation and you can see our historical back testing of all our Pentagon give me last year very very decent return uh, depending the price range keep an eye on this price range here. very important if you are part and parcel of trading using uh, the Pentagon Guider in here. So in our CV1, congratulations there. We can see Sukumaran in here. Uh, that's Mutusami. And the earlier one we was, uh, PMI one was, uh, I think, what was the Sukumaran there? Ah, it's Ramasami. So this one's Mutusami. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's a summary for this morning for Smart Roby. Now keep in mind, the KLCI, uh, oh, it's show. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at the, uh, KLCI is moving higher, but expect some pullback as 150. We have six days in a row in here. It is the year of dragon, all right? So don't need to listen to any of the uh, uh, doom slayer telling you, you know, this is going to be a recession year, a doom year. If you look back historically, the last uh, 80 years, uh, year of dragon statistically has been proven to be an, uh, a, a game changer, which is up about double digit, okay? So, um, so with that, uh, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so. And those of you who are ready, just check out our uh, VSA 360 subscription and also great review so far that we have and our breakfast show review. All right, let's take a look at some of the stocks uh, our member had. Okay, maybe I can just switch over to here. Okay, I usually do this. Okay, I can go over to US market, S&P 500, looking at AAPL. So if you look at uh, the U.S. market in here, the last three months, uh, you kind of have a double top for the U.S. So one or two more bars, you're going to get a red pentagon in here. And, you know, uh, if you want to take profit, because from the low point at 174, it's actually a pretty good area, low point. But if you are the longer term, keep on, keep it going. As, uh, as you can see, Apple, 
the notion about uh, what I've talked about earlier on. If you can go into the Apple, I think the news may cover a bit. Right. Uh, veteran uh, electric car maker, it's time to move on. Uh, join uh, Apple Loose Veteran Hardware Engineering to Rivia. So that was the, I think, the Apple car, right, which they delayed to 2028. Huge earning week led by tech titan Apple and Microsoft coming soon, right? So that's why we are seeing the weaker on top here just now, the weaker of the uh, Apple chart because of the uh, EPS uh, EPS earnings this week. Who knows if they sell a bit more uh, iPhone on the Christmas time, December, then you will see probably a reporting of a higher, higher earning in here. Okay, so that's all we have for today, this morning in here. Join me again on Wednesday for our talk and I'll get back to you with more updates by then. Bye-bye.